Hi dear friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tarot and today I'm going to uh, unbox Silent Flip Through and is it personal take or hot take? I don't know anymore actually because um, yeah, so many decks coming out at the same time both whether it's indie deck, it's Kickstarter deck, it's mass market, pre-order. There's so many things going on right now in the tarot world. It's insane, insane in the membrane. I'm so happy with all of this abundance uh, of uh, availability of decks because it means that... Um, so many artists interested in the occult world uh, as well as um, of course big publication like Rockpool um, that actually taking on the work of uh, Leah Shaman from Dark Moon Crystal here that uh, she created uh, both the True North Tarot and the Wildlands Tarot and afterwards, uh, this publication uh, created uh, for mass market rock pool of her deck, Astral Realms Crystal Oracle. So I never had this deck before. Is this a smudge or is it as it is? I don't know anymore. But I really enjoy the True North Tarot deck and Wildlands Tarot as well. They're very, very gentle energy. It's um, There is a lot of light coat energy in this deck when you work with it. And I really suggest and recommend to work with this deck outdoor. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's like um, kind of out of this world actually when you do it uh, outdoor um because there are like some information coded light coded information that you can download with it and the insight that i get from these two decks are really amazing but and you can check my silent flip through i think this one um both of them i did outside actually like energy pairing both decks so you can check my other video for this too but today i'm going to do a flip through of the mass market edition of her deck that's being published by rock pool the astral realm crystal oracle okay I love how the mass market deck these days are so compact and very minimalist in a way so it doesn't waste space in terms of storage but at the same time it's kind of really hard to get to the deck that you want to work with at any given time because so many things compacted together it's like sometimes where is this deck and then you get a, a packet a deck and it's like it, this is not it. It's just like the other deck from the same uh, publisher, you know, like rock pools and stuff like that. But anyway, that's a different um, storage problem. And this is that, yeah, let's watch the guidebook. And as everything that Leia Shonen do, it's everything is very gentle energy with her. It's also came through to with the mass market deck, which is I really really love, and it's actually two thousand twenty one. So it's a personal take. It's not a hot take. This uh, video. Oh, I have a lot of Palo Santo dust. Um, so the introduction is the astral realm is a transcendent plane where all consciousness exists. Seeking inside from the astrological transits of celestial bodies, turning within to enhance and unblock flow through your energetic chakra field and utilizing the healing and empowering frequencies of crystal is what we call the trifecta. A divinely guided approach to raising your frequency and deepening your connection to the astral realm. Crystals are one of the most widely employed methods to of, of achieving a state of transcendence where the mind is free to roam to places beyond human awareness. Mm. 
Okay, so... These cards have been intentionally created to assist you in understanding how the trifecta of energies aligns and creates a powerful momentum towards experiencing a higher state of consciousness, cultivating a deeper connection between source and self. use the cards this is beautiful I'm so mesmerized by the images you know and then we go to the uh, cards themselves there's an activation guidance is it in our cards yes wow it's beautiful it's too there is a method on how to beautiful because the thing is a lot of i don't know recent uh, some of the oracle cards like this they would explain uh the energy but they don't um actually give the activation code or how to so we just kind of left off this half information on energy that we pulled out right but actually we still don't know how to connect with it <laughs> so uh, sometimes it's kind of uh, you know like this is half done half baked kind of thing but this is seems like a nice uh deck to have you know with the uh, with the methodology So this is the illustrator girl and this is the artist i really like her she's really she's ethereal but really grounded at the same time <laughs> leah showman i connected with her when i wanted to buy wildland tarot from her directly in her etsy shop and she's so laid back and so in the earth kind of thing or on whatever she does or the way she communicates so it's very affirming in a way and very uh, calming and soothing the box is really beautiful and i don't know i just open the box and i read the guidebook a little bit not even we just skim it through right and i feel like a tremendous calm energy surge around me it's like a good thing going on okay there are cards maybe because i also put the tarot cards here i don't know but in any case let's start the silent flip through okay it's going to be a fast one enjoy guys
okay guys we just finished a very quick silent flip through of all of the cards in astral realm crystal oracle and boy this is like a really calm energy that i feel from this deck um i don't know i haven't seen this deck being used very widely actually by a lot of people in um in youtube community or am i the silly one that i haven't just connect with the right youtubers probably but this deck is so stunning actually in the images and and the energy that it's carry is super high and calming and it's like i know that i said this a lot these days because i felt it i filled it with the hay house decks and now rockpool as well that they start to kind of copying the daniel noel style of arts but this one um it's a little bit different than uh daniel noel art and i it's just look at this you know it's just very feminine in a way and super gentle in the eyes and i don't know because i think when you see something like this that um, give you a very gentle feeling on uh, on your eyesight it's just sending some kind of calm energy into the brain kind of thing i don't know am i making sense or not wow it's such a beautiful deck i think i what i want to do is actually try to pair them up together um in in a very simple um reading or pick a card that let's just do it now kind of thing and see how they uh how they re reacting or connecting with each other okay so let's just ask um what uh what hold on i haven't even said the intention <laughs> what do you want the subscribers of inner hill tarot channel to know about you about your energy okay let's do this one then. and let's start with this as well with the wildlands tarot what would you like the audience of Inner Hill Tarot channel to know about you? What kind of energy? Let's interview the deck. <laughs> and very last one, the True North Tarot. I love all of this deck. I love all of her deck. It's so beautiful. What do you want the people who subscribe to Inner Hill Tower to know about you? Your beautiful dad. Oof. Okay. So let's start this. Let's see what did they want to, us to know. Okay. From the astral realm is the energy of desert jasper with resolve number 32 okay and from the wildlands tarot is ten of angst meaning uh ten of swords in this deck wow look at this it's beautiful symbol of life and from the true north tarot is judgment Oh my god, look at all of these three cards, okay. Just gonna do it like this. Sorry. Mr. Palo Santo. Okay, so this is what the three decks from for you, my subscribers, that the energy that they want you to know. Uh, with the desert jasper and resolve like these two cards is quite connected um 
yeah jasper is actually quite um quite common um quite common uh, stone like crystal i think so let's see what does it tell you resolve with this jasper vesta confidence assurance settled there is no right or wrong decisions the asteroid vesta hold pure fury goddess energy that representation of igniting your inner flame fueling your aspiration to achieve and accomplish vesta is your potential at its finest it's it is your life force and your essence and make and will make you understand that all the decisions you have made up at this point up to this point have brought you to this very moment remain steadfast for the remainder of this journey until you embark on the next one take a desert jasper with you to the finish line as it carries the energetic frequencies to of the fire element and encourages a confident calm and decisive nature that urges you to take action okay so it seems like with desert jasper and resolve there's a fire energy here and the ten of angst here angst is also the uh, life energy that it feels to me the same with this image it's almost the same the angst so basically what is happening in here for you my dear friend and friendly subscribers there is things in your life at the moment that's ready to roll and <laughs> ready to be put to bed basically with all of the um, celestial what do you call it this is the astrological signs it seems like it's time you know it's a defined time for ending certain kind of karma certain kind of patterns within you that doesn't work anymore and um to or even like a project or something that it needs um to be to reach the point of completion and the suggestion is to take a desert jasper with the energy of this um of this asteroid vesta so it's just to you know this is like what monica kliosaki of saki saki tara says when you're like you're 70 percent of any project or anything that you're doing and you feel like you have nothing else going on within you that you can use to fuel to complete this project so this this desert jasper can help you um to carry on basically and finish the project already and gain back the ankh the life force so you can start a new one and it feels like whatever it is that needs to be done it will give you or it will create a glow up situation so probably if you finish a project at work like a lot of people will praise you and then it's like look that person he or she or they they managed to work on such a complicated project and such a hard uh, they can overcome all of these difficulties and i think it's so inspiring and i want to be like them you know so this is will create a glow up situation for you and whatever it is with your partner or with your kids or with your parents is just creating something that also for yourself actually it's great something that like oh i didn't even know i can do this i can achieve this sort of thing so it's a glow up so that's what this um the cards from wildlands Asar realm and uh, true north tarot wanted to know so yeah i hope this video is is uh, interesting for you i trying to do a different format uh, from time to time especially with decks that come from the same creators that i love and i have a collection of 
I will try to do this kind of format. Please let me know it, if it's interesting for you, it, if it works for you, or you said it's so boring lady, just do the <laughs> hot takes already and just be done with it in 15 minutes. Okay, then I will go back to the old format, okay? So thank you so much, guys. I hope this video is helping you in your tarot and oracle journey as your comments, uh, subscribes, and sharing really help me in my tarot journey and this channel journey also to become more accepted and more glowing i need a glow up too you know so let me know in the comment section okay thank you so much guys and do have a great day and night anytime you watch this video and please also again don't forget to subscribe share and comments see you in the next video bye bye